Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Atanasio Family Field at Murray Stadium on the campus of Brown University. Alongside Nick Santo, Rob Carbone, and Ed Habershaw, I'm Bobby Olson. Nick, we have a great one in store for us today in a not-so-familiar spot, but a home game nonetheless. Oh, yeah. Great to be in a new spot. Beautiful field, beautiful complex here, so always nice to get to play on a you know, nice setup field, some nice dugouts, good bullpen, beautiful turf, and what a great day. It's another great day, and it is Mully Day as Sean Mulligan will get the start here for the Seahawks. We saw Braden Clark throwing a quick bullpen before the game, and he's still kind of getting loose in there as he had a very quick outing on Wednesday. But it is Sean Mulligan, one of the young captains of the Seahawks team. Yeah, and, uh, and with Mulligan on the mound and obviously uh, Clark pitching on a uh, on Saturday, I believe last Saturday. It was a short outing, but first conference game on Tuesday against Springfield, as well as playing Eastern Connecticut State on Wednesday, which is uh, always a big, tough opponent. So I'd, uh, I'd guess he's getting one of those starts. Very likely and good insight from you there. As we kick it off here, it'll be Scott Emerson, the second baseman for the Bridgewater State Bears. Somewhat a home game for them as the Brown University Bears have lent us the field. <laughs> But Mulligan digs in against Emerson. His first pitch just over the outside corner. It'll be ball one. Yeah, and uh, catching Shea Donovan, one of his uh, first starts of the year. Sophomore with a good bat and a trusty glove back there. Right on cue as the foul tip goes right into that mitt. Around the infield, it's Tyler Canoe at first. Christian Homa at second. Breen at short. McCarthy at third as the 1-1 one -one comes in high and don't flinch, there's a net there. 2-1 around the outfield, Shane Williams, Brandon Grover, Tyler Petrosino. Like you said, behind the dish, Shea Donovan for Mulligan. Two balls and one strike to Scott Emerson. Mulligan's pitch stings the helmet and plunks Emerson. Yeah, so went three fastballs and uh, drilled him with the curveball. Just one. backed up on him, didn't quite uh, get enough uh, extension on that one and just left it back. About the ideal start here for Mulligan as the lead man gets on for Kevin Lindsay, the Bears shortstop. But Mulligan, very talented and talented enough to get out of that quick hole he put himself in. First pitch to Lindsay, fouled against the screen. Yeah, Lindsay's just a little bit late on that fastball. Did uh, he was on it. Knew kind of knew a fastball was coming after a curveball hit the batter before him. But uh, the low nine fastball, it's uh, it's hard to get on time for it. Oh one, one Mulligan is ahead, and he delivers another one on the outside corner. It's strike two. Good job receiving there out of Donovan. The ball's two strikes. Emerson. Modest lead over at first. He stays put as the 0-2 comes in just a bit high. And Emerson tied with Lindsay the batter now for uh, stolen most stolen bases. So these 1-2 are a threat to, threat to steal. And a foul tip into the mitt of Donovan as Lindsay goes down on strikes. So a hit by pitch and then a strikeout for Mulligan, out number one for Ryan Flaherty. Hales out of Plymouth, Mass. Pardon me, that's actually Duxbury, Massachusetts. First pitch to him, another breaking ball. That one skips in on Donovan, good stop. A lot of South Shore guys on this Bears team as Bridgewater State, right off of that. Yeah, it's probably not too far. What, 30 minutes from uh, South Shore, Duxbury area? I'd say not even, about well, a good 20. If you drive like Nick Santo, maybe 35, 40 <laughs> minutes. But now we had a good, good quick ride up here. Not a lot of Providence traffic today. 1-0 is the count. Breaking ball spins nicely for strike one. Yeah, it kind of buckles Flaherty there. Count evens up, ball and a strike. Emerson still over there on first. Bit bigger lead, but he stays again as the breaking ball. And there for a strike. 
<laughs> he signals strike three. Yeah, umpire, uh, not quite sure where he is mentally, but he's got to get to Brown. I'd say, <laughs> yeah, I'd say most Brown University students know how to count. One ball, two strikes. That's ball two. Surprised he didn't signal for a walk there. Yeah, right. Count is twos. One down, two balls still in play, and runners going. Strike him out, the throw down. Not in time, it skipped over on Breen, but another strikeout for Mulligan. And that'll be Emerson's sixth stolen base of the year. Put him in scoring position with two outs for the four-hole hitter. Steve Simon, another South Shore one out of Hanover. Played a lot of youth ball against him growing up. Although Hanover was a little league team, one of few along the South Shore. Two down for him, first pitch fastball, grounded up the middle right towards Homa. Takes it on a few hops on the true turf field and he is retired. It's the beauty of the turf. It absolutely is, so the Bears strand one and after the first half, we are scoreless. and Grover will lead things off for the Seahawks. As we take you around the Bears infield, it'll be Yesu pitching with Pigeon behind the dish. Flaherty at first, Emerson at second, Lindsay at short, Thornwell at third, Frechette and left, James in center, Ladkowski in right. First pitch to Grover, he squares and lets ball one come in low. It will be Trey Yesu out of Monson, Massachusetts. 1-0. This one hit hard along the right first base line. Flaherty snags and tags for out number one. Yeah, Grover running quickly down the baseline. Almost beat that out. But uh, play is made. So two pitches, one out for Evan O'Rourke, who is in the DH spot today. He'll hop in and out of that with some outfield spots as we're early in the season. Try to save some legs and what should be a long one as first pitch is ball one. Yeah, Salve's definitely gonna continue uh, moving people around early in the season until spots are secured. So this one's shot down the second base hole. It's gonna be a tough play. The flip at first is in time about by half a step. Thought he beat it out there, but definitely close. Just got that off the calf and kind of just spun around. It's an interesting play for that right side of the infield, and now they're asking for a new baseball. Might be a little scuff on that one for Yesu, but quick two outs for Christian Homa. Yeah, Christian Homa leading the team in hits and slugging. 26 hits in a 
648 slugging percentage. One of the most talented hitters you'll see as the first pitch to him. Breaking ball spins in just above the letters. Ball one. Yeah, Homer sees a lot of breaking balls and off speed. One of the one of the downfalls of being an All-American. Don't get as many fastballs as you used to. So that one's low for ball two. Same story for the man on deck standing at 6'5", Tyler Canoe. Doesn't tend to see a lot of yeah, team see him nice flat ones. Do not want to give him fastballs. Fouls that one off home with two balls, one strike. And he fouls that one up and out of play over the screen. Good pitch there. Again, probably a ball off the plate and got, got a chase. Two balls, two strikes. Yesu looking to make it one, two, three. That one's fouled off Homa in the box. Count stays two, two. Two down, so twos are hot. Twos all around. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball skied into right field. Wadkowski going back at the wall. He looks up. It's gone. Christian Homa on a two, two count. Puts one out. That one, a no doubter. Saw Homa jogging about halfway down the first baseline. He knew he got all of that one. Good to see Christian Homa, the All-American, like you said. Able to cash one in here in the bottom of the first. Yeah, it takes one of those curveballs and launches it into orbit like NASA. Brings up Tyler Canoe, who can do much of the same. Still looking for that first one. Rains, it pours with a hitter like him. He'll take ball one, low and away. As Yesu digs in, delivers one up high. So 2 0, oh, 2 canoe might see a good one to hit here. It's the pitch from Yesu over the middle. It's grounded right at second. Emerson. Fields and fires good for the final there. out. Yeah, good swing. Just got a little barrel on it, but right at Emerson. So that'll be out number three. Seahawks grab one from the Homa Blast, and they lead one nothing after one. here for the top of the second. It'll be Jay Wladkowski to kick things off who watched a home run go over his, go over his head back in the first when Homa did that a good five minutes ago. As Mulligan's back out here to pitch to him and he takes strike one. Yeah, and a couple stats about Sean Mulligan out there right now. Leads the team in innings pitched with 25, 20, 28 strikeouts and a .92 whip. So leads the team in all three of those statistics. Looks to add on to those today. 0-2 already to Wladkowski. And Mulligan goes right back at it. 0-2, breaking ball, offering. Wladkowski did not go. He held up. 
good take there on a sharp breaking ball. Really throws that curveball uh, hard, so it's a it's a power curve, hard to lay off sometimes when it's close. Ball and two strikes, Mulligan still ahead, good one to waste. As he digs back in, and Mladkowski takes one over the outside corner, and it's a ball. Yeah, close, close pitch there. Could have gone either way, but umpire uh, keeping a true zone, not really calling anything too outside. 2-2 two -two for Mulligan. That one skips in a bit low. On to see a chase there. And now, ball's behind in a 3-2 count. And gets a swing there. That'll be strike three. And Wadkowski goes down for the third strike out of the day. So Wadkowski's out number one, brings up Joe Frechette. First pitch from Mulligan. Comes in a bit low. One oh chop to the left side. McCarthy fields it foul. Evens it out at one oh one. Decent turnout of fans today. Having to locate the new home field for today. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people making the trip to uh Providence. A lot of the uh Massachusetts Families make an attendance a little bit closer for them. There's ball two inside, but a lot of Bridgewater State fans as well starting to turn out here. Yeah, close trip for them. 2-1. Big and sword there. Indecisive swing there from Frechette. Evens it up. Two balls, two strikes. Two-two. That one fell back to the screen. Working quickly, Mulligan breaking ball. Got away from him there, and another full count. Yeah, you gotta really reach on that curveball, leaving a couple of them up. Works quickly in this one. Check swung out of play. I see a check swing there. Looks like a fastball pretty middle. Could have done some damage with that one. Full count pitch. Mulligan misses up high. And a good walk worked there from Frechette. Brings up Riley Thornell. First pitch cut on into left field. It's going to be a base hit. Frechette will stop at second. A good first pitch hit there from Riley Thornell. Yeah, it's the first hit of the day for Bridgewater State in a sharp line drive. Almost got away into that uh, deep left field corner, but Shane Williams able to stop him at second. So first and second, one down for Matthew Pigeon. Bears catcher for the afternoon. First pitch to him is lined into right field down the line. It's going to be extra bases and maybe extra runs. One run's going to score easily. Another one rounding around on his way. Thornell, the throw, never going to get there. It's a two RBI triple for Pigeon, who stays cool, calm, and collected on that one. Yeah, big big hit. Sharp line drive in a right field now, and that one did get all the way to that right field corner. Deep out there in the corner, so a lot of opportunities for triples if you can get it out there. Good piece of hitting there from the Bears catcher. 
And now he's in scoring position for Cam James. Yeah, you know, if you can't catch up to that fastball, you got to really bounce on the curveball. This ball one's up high, but two pitches. Two pitches back to back in motion into the field of play and make some serious damage as the Bears have taken the lead. Count evens up, ball and a strike. Mulligan's 1-1 one, one to James. Fastball, cut on a miss, good pitch there. And Mulligan's head 1-2. Our fastball, that one's fouled back. Count stays one and two. Morgan's still up. Can find that put away pitch. Be throwing a little harder now after giving up that big RBI triple. And uh, the infield, at least the middle infielders, are uh, playing about middle. Not fully in, but definitely not at full depth. Trying to stop the man at home if something gets hit hard to them. That breaking ball misses. Two and two. Payoff pitch from Mulligan is chopped to the left side. McCarthy will get it foul. Count still two and two. Mulligan's two two lined up the middle into center field. Another RBI from the number nine hitter Cam James makes it three one Bears. Yeah, so good piece of hitting there. Pokes it over Homa's head. Scores a third run. Good timely hitting here from the bottom half of the Bears lineup. Has gotten them three runs to put them ahead in this one. Still early, but good start here from BSU. Yeah, and that one out walk started things off. You know, the walks always come back to bite you. He's but going. Squaring in the throw down from Donovan is in time. Good throw out there from the Seahawk catcher. <laughs> Caught stealing is James. Like the aggression there. Yeah, fake bunt trying to create some chaos, but Donovan hoses him at second. And a huge out there on strike one. Makes there two outs with nobody out for the top of the lineup. Scott Emerson got hit by a pitch last time up. Count evens up at one and one. Actually, first pitch was a ball, so it'll be two and oh. Donovan can't catch that one. That one might have been a strike. But for the umpire, tough to see. And now it's three and oh. That one too far inside, so a four pitch walk. Makes that caught stealing look a little bit bigger there. You know, with that, you, you put a guy on, give him a free base with, uh, with two down. Especially to a guy who you already struck out in his first appearance, Kevin Lindsay. That's Emerson's second time reaching. Got hit in the first and walked there as a buckling curve. Scares Lindsay out of there for strike one. Oh, one. This one lined right back up the middle. Dive by Homa, gets through. Yeah, a good piece of hitting there, just putting it right back up the middle where he got that pitch from. Seen some really good pieces of hitting on Mulligan here. Brings up Ryan Flaherty, who also struck out in his first plate appearance back in the first. And we'll see a mound visit. So Coach McKeon. As you said, we'll jog out there. And the three hitter up. Some opportunity to do damage here for BSU.
So two down here for Ryan Flaherty. Three hole, struck out last at bat. First pitch to him, breaking ball. Right in there for a strike, good first pitch. A one with runners on first and second. Breaking ball, same spot, and it's strike two. A little bit delayed there. Thought he was calling that one a ball, I was gonna say. Right in the same spot. 0-2 oh is the count. Emerson on second, Lindsay on first for Flaherty at the plate. And that one's fouled out of play. Yeah, sped him up with the fastball there and couldn't get it by him. But we'll do it again. No balls, two strikes for the Bears' first baseman. Mulligan looking to get out of this small jam here. And the breaking ball allows him to do so. The second K of the day for Flaherty strands a pair. But the Bears grab three in the top of the second. They lead three to one. Shane Williams is set to lead us off here in the bottom of the second. Seahawks work to do, chasing 3-1. First pitch from Yesu outside. So that one misses as well. Really vertical pitcher. Gets the ball way up over his head and a little bit of a flat fastball, but having a little success so far. Williams well ahead here. So yes, who delivers. And, and we'll work a leadoff walk. Four pitches, four balls. Good. Not how you want to start it off after a three-run inning. And on the flip side, exactly how Salve wants to start getting their leadoff man on in this talented one through nine lineup. And here's a guy who wants to get going, Will McCarthy. And a wonderful three for three day on Wednesday, looking to keep that hitting going. McCarthy, very streaky hitter. When he's hot, he's hot, as this one spins in up high. Off speed misses. So, on like five in a row of Yesu. Short lead by Williams as this one misses for ball six. Had 
be surprised to see a swing here. And he does swing, and it's into right field. Williams turning hard, but he'll stay at second base. And a good piece of hitting from McCarthy. He keeps it going. Yeah, he gets his fastball in the middle away, and that's his pitch right there. Does exactly what he wanted to and gets it the other way, hard on the ground. So the first strike of the inning is put into play by McCarthy. Good placement for Tyler Petrosino now. Yeah, Petrosino leads the team in runs, on base percentage, and stolen bases. So definitely a threat. And he shows bunt. First pitch, he lays it down. It's going to be a tough one to make. The throw over to first, never going to come. It's an infield single for Petrosino. Beautiful and surprising to see Bridgewater State not uh, not doing much there, not crashing or anything, and doesn't pay off. I mean, especially with the early square, you think they take the free out being yeah. handed them, but a really well-placed bunt nonetheless. And it's bases loaded for Shea Donovan. Yeah, and Petra's seen another one where, you know, you'll see him bunt quite often, and if they're not going to make a move, he'll beat it out. Yesu early jam here. First pitch to Donovan, and there for a strike. Donovan got a little bit of pop. Going to poke one into the outfield, yell him through, and tie this game up. Yes, you ahead 0-1, the breaking ball on the outside corner for strike two. Yeah, rough call there. Not really uh, where he's been giving it, so I don't hate the take out of the catcher, Donovan, who's been seeing the zone. After six straight balls to begin the inning, now four strikes in a row. Number five is a line drive into left center field, tailing and making the play is James. The tagging runner, Williams, will get one back for the Seahawks. Good charge from Donovan, and he gets the job done. Yeah, almost got that over the head of uh, center fielder, okay. but nine, does his job nonetheless. Breen. And Mike Breen, the nine hole, number nine. Up with one down and two runners on. He's another one. I wouldn't be surprised to see a bunt here, especially with uh, your leadoff man up next. We'll see that one from Third Yesu. baseman back. Comes to the set. He does not square yet. And now he does. Good call, Nick. But that's ball one. Yeah, and, uh, takes a curve ball way out of the zone. And uh, probably won't show it again with infielders coming in. So 1-0. Yes, who delivers as Breen hits it on the ground right at Emerson. He'll go to first for the out. Breen moves them over, and there are two down. Yeah, he gets the same job done. So runners on second and third with two down for the leadoff man, Brandon Grover. Grover put a good, good charge into it last time. Hit it right at Flaherty over at first. Looking to do a little bit more here, though, with two men in scoring position. Yes, who steps up. That's his one reset of the inning. Or of the at-bat, I apologize. First pitch to Grover. He squares, he lays it down foul. Yeah, drops that bat head a little bit. He took off hair early. As Coach Clays kicked that one right towards the on-deck batter O'Rourke. A one to Grover. Takes one outside, good eye there from Seahawks center fielder. One ball, one strike here to Grover. Looking to tie things up and maybe give the Seahawks the lead. The breaking ball spins in nicely from Yesu. A good backdoor pitch right there. Ball and two strikes. Big pitch from Yesu. Is on the outside corner for strike three. Tough take from Grover there, but a good location from Yesu. Strands a pair, and the Seahawks will trail by one after two.
top of the third here as it'll be Ryan, pardon me, Steve Simon to lead things off here for the Bears. And a breaking ball from Mulligan in there for a strike. Good first pitch there, get ahead. Simon grinded out to Christian Homa his last at bat. Did that on the first pitch fastball to end the inning and he kicks this one off and takes ball one. Second at bat already for Simon in the third. And that one just missed. Two one here for Simon. Mulligan's pitch is swung on. McCarthy dives, can't get there, and it'll be a leadoff single for Simon. Yeah, jumped on that fastball. She got it enough into that hole. So again, the Bears have their leadoff man on. Did so in the first. Couldn't amount to anything, but they did score three in the second. Let's see what they can do here as Jay Wadkowski set to lead things off. See a change up there. It'll be the first of the day. Trying to throw him off the lefty. Wadkowski struck out in his first at bat. He did it let off the second inning as he takes strike one over the outside corner. Count evens up at one and one for the Bears right fielder. Simon short lead at first. This one skied out of play. Yeah, through that pitch, about the same spot. So a ball and two strikes as Mulligan is ahead here. He delivers home just a bit high. Count evens up, two balls, two strikes. Simon gets a bit bigger over there. He stays put though, as this one cut on and missed for strike three, second time today for Wadkowski. Yeah, attacking him there with the fastballs away. It paid off. Probably uh, looking for a curveball there. Thought they were gonna mix it up and stuck with it. Brings up Joe Frechette who walked in his first appearance, he also scored. As Mulligan checks over at first. And does so again. Pitch high and tight to Frechette. And getting some chin music. Puts him ahead, 1 0. This one, similar spot for ball two. Joe Frechette, graduate of Plymouth South High School. The 2-0, cut on and missed. So two balls, one strike. Mulligan gets his first one. As that one is cue balled into shallow right field. It's gonna get down, Petrosino coming in. The runners will stay put at first and second. And another good placement hit there. By the Bears. Yeah, just a little flare that out there. Got jammed and hey, when they're falling, they're falling. That'll be the sixth of the day for the Bears. BSU. And we'll see some uh, pitchers starting to get in the bullpen, move around a little bit. So first and second for Riley Thornell. First pitch, nearly got a piece of him. Can have that one back, maybe let that one hit him. Yeah, you see a lot of this out of uh, 
had a Bridgewater State kind of jumping out of the way of pitches where, you know, I never understood that. Can uh, just wear it and take a base. Seahawks definitely tend to do that because that one cut on a missed by Thornell. Speaks exactly into the Seahawks sort of strategy with Mike Breen and Tyler Petrosino right at the top of the new Mac and hit by pitches. Ball and a strike. Good location, but just misses. Yeah, that's the thing we kind of work on a lot is, you know, you don't even think about moving your feet. Once they're in there, they're, they're glued there and you're not moving. Two balls, one strike. Mulligan looking for strike two. So this one's sky and out of play. Evens it up at two and two, big pitch coming. A lot of, a lot of fastballs away to, to lefties out of him right now. I'm not trying to give him anything they can pull into that, uh, that right field line. Two balls, two strikes. Mulligan looking for a big out number two. And that one just misses outside. Looks like that might have nicked the corner like it did on Grover to end the last inning. But counts full. Three balls, two strikes for Thornell. Pitch from Mulligan, foul back to the screen. Yeah, a lot of fastballs here. First chance to take a see at the bounce of the backstop there, pretty hard one came right back at Donovan. Three balls, two strikes. Mulligan breaking ball in there for strike three, a big pitch from the Seahawk ace. And there are two down. Nice backdoor curveball there. I think that's one of the most effective pitches you can throw to uh, an opposite handed batter is getting a breaking ball backdoor. Looks like it's gonna be way out and just comes right back. Strikeout number six of the day for Mulligan. Brings up Matthew Pigeon. First pitch to Pigeon. Misses for ball one. Pigeon, of course, two RBI triple. Back in the second, he also scored on the Cam James hit. Yeah, and he hit that one on a first pitch curveball. So I wonder if they'll, uh, well, I guess two fastballs trying to stay away from that curveball. 2 0. Pigeon is ahead. That one down Broadway for a strike. Be interesting to see a take there on a pretty good pitch to hit. If you're in a leverage count, you, you want to attack when you got the uh, advantage. Two balls, one strike. Mulligan looking to get out of this jam. So this one's skied and tailing out of play. McCarthy gives chase. It blows back in, and McCarthy makes the catch for out number three. I read that one perfectly. The Bears will strand a few, and they still lead three to two.
back here for the bottom half of the third. Evan O'Rourke, Christian Homa, and Tyler Canoe do up. Hopefully more for the Seahawks as they trail three to two. O'Rourke grounded out to Emerson at second. Back in his first at bat and he takes strike one. Yesu right back out there for the Bears. Yeah, start him off the curveball middle of the way. And another curveball, and that's into right center and down for a leadoff single. Evan O'Rourke getting it started. Now uh, Christian Homa, who had a solo shot in the first, gets his second at bat of the day. Going to add on to that. So leadoff man on for the Seahawks, their second consecutive inning. Last time it yielded a run. See what it does here. The catcher comes out and gives a sign to the infield, it looks like. Decent lead there for O'Rourke. He'll stay put, first pitch to Homa. Up at the letters, but it's strike one. O won the count. O'Rourke takes off. Pitch is taken, the throw. Just a bit late in the stolen base for O'Rourke. Believe that was strike two to Homa. So some work to do here for the All-American. Good idea though, letting the runner, uh, with, a, with a good jump, let him take off. Homa all over the plate, the 0-2. He lines this one in the left field. It's gonna be a base hit, O'Rourke being sent home, and the throw is not gonna come. And an RBI single for Christian Homa, he does it with two strikes. Yeah, third baseman, I, looks like he might have lost the ball or something, almost kind of ducked out of the way, and, or it could have been a close play. Yeah, really nice of you to make an excuse for him there as the <laughs> tying run comes across. Yeah, and Christian Homa gets it done. The big man, Tyler Canoe, though, not, a, not much of an easier at bat. After Homa. Tyler Canoe grounded out to second his first at bat, but looking to do some damage. First pitch, breaking ball. Foul back. Bit hopeful there, Canoe. I like the aggressiveness. Own one with Homa on first. Breaking ball in there for a strike two. Yeah, he got the same pitch again. I think maybe that's what he wanted, pitch number one. But oh, no balls and two strikes for the Seahawks. Big first baseman. That one skips outside for a ball. Good block there by Pigeon. One and two. See if he goes back for a fourth curveball or on the heater. He checks over on Homa. None of the above. We'll do it again at one two. Goes fastball to ground ball to short. Could be two. Lindsay flips for second for one on to first. Did he keep the bag? Yes. Flaherty makes the stretch. And Canoe extends the lead. He does not want the new Mac, which is grounded into double plays. Yeah, and with that, uh, we'll have two outs, no runners on, and Shane Williams up to bat. Six, four, three, double play. Brings up Shane Williams, who scored a run on a walk back in the second, and he takes strike one. Yeah, good curveball there for Yesu. Williams also swiped a bag as the 0-1 misses. Ended up scoring on the shade other than sack fly. One ball, one strike. This one driven into left field for Shet will let it drop. 
So two out single there for Williams. And with that, each team three runs apiece, six hits apiece, no errors so far. Will McCarthy looking to change that. Man on with two down, he singled in his first at bat. McCarthy swinging the glow stick, looking to stay hot. Take strike one. A lot of curveballs this uh, second time through the order. Fastball, uh, kind of an out pitch later in at bats, it looks like. As the SU checks over on Williams. That one skips in, almost gets away from Pigeon. On a strike here to McCarthy. One one McCarthy lets a breaking ball travel outside. Two balls, one strike. Ball outside. It's ball three. Taken away. McCarthy in a good spot to do something with it here as you might see Williams in motion here. Yeah, three one count. Most likely. As Yesu delivers, the runner goes. McCarthy chops one back at Yesu. Gets under his glove. It's gonna be a close play. And the play will not be made. And that'll be infield hit. Pitcher just missed the ball and uh, able to sneak in. So not exactly how you draw it up when talking to your hitters, but hey, counts the same in the scorebook. Two down for Petrosino, who bunt singled. This time he line drives, but it's right at Emerson. Good piece of hitting from Petrosino. Seahawks strand a pair, but they tie things up 3 3. Cam James, Scott Emerson, and Kevin Lindsay, the three do for the Bears. As we have a new ball game tied up at three, first pitch swinging foul. As Mulligan gets ahead 0-1. We are tied at three through three, midway to the top of the fourth. As a ball and a strike now. Mulligan still looking like he's having some trouble getting on top of that curveball. Hello, Rob. Welcome to the booth. 
as McSanto leaves for a moment. Sharp grounder at Will McCarthy. He fires over to Canoe, wastes no time for out number one. Yeah, and he's going to need a lot more quick outs like that one to get further in the game. Pitch count already up there. But Especially with the top of the lineup coming up here. Good start, nonetheless. Absolutely is. Yet to see some pitchers officially start getting hot in there. But a quick out number one brings up the top of the Bears order. Emerson takes a breaking ball. Doesn't even watch it all the way in, and it's strike one. Yeah, fooling a lot of those hitters in that front door curve today. Buckling uh, some knees. Does Goes it again back here. Exactly, and it's just a bit high. Ball and a strike here to Emerson. One one checked on. He had to have offered there. He oh. didn't. Thought we saw that from here. Sorella getting some chirps in while he can at the ump. Two one. That one a little more velocity on that one, and he falls behind three one. Bit of an overthrow. Yeah, got to stay composed here on the mound after some questionable calls like that. Can't fall too far behind. That one on the outside corner for strike two. And the count's full again. Lots of full counts. 3-2. Fastball cut on and missed. Good pitch there for another K. So racking up the Ks here today is Mulligan. Might not have his best stuff, but still eliciting lots of swings and misses. Brings up Kevin Lindsay, who's one for two with a single and a strikeout back in the first. But two quick outs here for Mulligan. First pitch swinging in foul. Next one cut on and missed. Really swinging at that fastball low and away. Never looking like a strike, but the Bridgewater batter is still swinging. 0-2. Oh, that one misses up and away. Start to see some arms getting warm there. Looks like it could be Del Vecchio, although no official jersey number out there, but the unorthodox delivery makes it look like it. The 1-2 fastball misses over the plate. Umpire not giving anything to the Salve pitchers today. Count evens up at two and two. You might see a hundred here for Mulgan. He goes breaking ball instead as this one skied to center field. Grover navigating through the sun. Runs in a bit of a circle there, but settles under it for the third out. Mulgan gets a nice one, two, three as we head into the bottom of the fourth.
Shea Donovan will lead things off here. And the bottom of the fourth, Seahawks three runs across three frames, one in each. Yeah, and Donovan last at bat put a good swing on a ball, drove in an RBI and was just barely caught by the center fielder on deep left center. Here for his second at bat as he takes strike one. One and one from Yesu. Breaking ball, misses outside. Good take there. It's the, the prayer could be in a catcher. You have a pretty good feel of the zone when you're up to hit. This one on a line into left field and coming in and making the play for Shetz. Wasn't sure about that one, especially with the sun coming right in that direction. But he takes the gamble and makes the play. Left fielder looked a little bit lost out there for a second, but uh, came up and made the catch. Shea Donovan twice in a row roping balls, but not getting him to fall. Brings up Mike Breen, who takes strike one on the inside corner, but might have found his walk-up song. We've heard California Love a couple times now. I like it. Maybe settling on one finally. It's the 0-1. Strike two. Yeah, so two good pitches to lead him off. The fastball in and the curve away. The 0-2. So that one's fouled out of play. Yeah, fighting off a fastball low there. Bring a guy who uh, will fight and Swing of pitches, you know, ball or two out with two strikes on him. Hates striking out, so you got to do it sometimes. Oh, two. This one lined up the middle into center field. A good two strike hit yeah, does from it Mike Breen. Does it there? Goes down and gets a, what would have been a ball and pokes it through with a line drive. Allegedly would have been a ball. Never know today. Never know. Now batting number eight, Brandon Grover. Brings up the top of the order. Brandon Grover with one down, one man on. He's 0 for 2 today. Struck out looking with two men in scoring position. Looks to do something different here with yeah. Breen on first. Yeah, and Breen, uh, number two on the team in stolen bases, so you got to be careful for him over there. So he takes ball one. Yeah, this bottom of the Seahawks lineup does get on a lot, which really helps the sluggers at the top, but they hit one through nine. No true bottom of the order. As the 1-0, Breen going. This one fouled out of play. Hit and run was on. And Grover just under that curve ball. Good pitch to run on. Just tough to get a off speed there. Ball and a strike here as Breen retakes his primary lead. You know, like you said, the bottom of the order is, is very strong. and I think uh, Mike Breen is pretty much... Locked in his spot in the nine hole, which uh, it's a good spot. You know, it's like a second leadoff guy. We had uh, Dustin Takeda had it last year, and Breen kind of moved around the top middle of the order last year, and someone had to take over for that, that nine hole. But, hey, it's been working out for Breen so far. Working out for the Seahawks offense as well. Ball and a strike. Breen stays put as Grover fouls us under the screen. But ball and two strikes. Two strike pitch. Green stays put. Grover checks, and it's a ball outside. Two two count, and uh, here's another uh, pitch I could also see uh, Green taking off on. And he is. This one fouled back. Caught metal. Yeah, you can feel it shaking. Two balls and two strikes to Grover. Grover making the pitcher work here. Three foul balls so far. 
Green stays put. This one comes in high. So move to full count. And uh, Breen almost definitely going here. Brandon Grover looking to work his way on for the first time today in a full count. Guess who delivers? Breen goes. This one fouled out of play. So this will be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Lock in the quality at bat. Let's see at the eight. For number eight, who's playing position number eight in the center. Play the power ball. Three balls, two strikes. Breen got a good rest there. Yeah, he's gonna be moving again here. But not too quickly as he's checked on. Mrs. Breen will be happy. She'll have to do the laundry with the turf field yeah, today. Big help. He's taken off, and that's ball four. And he might take third. He's going for third. And, and he gets it. Well done by Breen. Now Grover oh, caught Grover's in no caught. man's land. See if Breen tries to score. That one skips in. Good pick to dive back into first. Well done by Grover. But even more well done by Breen to grab a pair of bags. So Breen heads up base running there. Gets to second on the walk anyway, and then heads to third on the wild pitch. Yeah, and here runners on first and third. Good speed on both bases. Uh, I would definitely expect to see something happening, some kind of movement, maybe a delay, delayed steal of some sort. It's my guess. Lindsay uh, deep in the hole at short. Straight steal, and no throw. So Grover swipes second. Ball one. So, Grover didn't even need to get caught in that pickle originally. O'Rourke in a big spot here, one for two. Two men in scoring position as he takes the ball outside. You know, this is a big RBI spot to break the lead, uh, the middle innings right here, or break the tie. Two O to O'Rourke skips in for a ball. Three and O were a ball away from a bases loaded at bat for Christian Homa. Yeah, not the guy you want up with uh, bases loaded, one out. That's why I wouldn't mind seeing a take here from O'Rourke. Yes, you do. And he takes ball four. So we will see Christian Homa come up bases and juiced. Only one down. Ball to the outfield should do a job. How about a ball over the fence? That probably worked. Done it once and now a visit here for the Bears. And we'll step aside for this. This is juice for Christian Homa. Fresh out of the timeout. Yeah, quick mound visit. Talk to your pitcher. Get him to calm down a little bit. Takes a breaking ball for strike one. Wasn't thrilled about that take. Yeah, that looked like the pitch he uh, launched into right field over the fence. First inning. Homa two for two with a dinger and a single. He chops this one to the right side. Flaherty is going to go to first. The play, he makes the tag, I believe, on Homa. Yes, for an out. Now Coach Barlow asks for a discussion. It looked pretty evident from here, but 
Yeah, and I, I think that the uh, first base umpire just called him out of the baseline, which I don't think he was, even though he might have been moving a little bit away from the first base, and but definitely got the tag on him. Not hey. much you can do there after making that call. Yeah. Does the job, though. Scores a run and extra RBI for Christian Homa. I'll be two down. Runners on second and third for Tyler Canoe. Looking to get involved here in the scoring. Canoe 0 for 2. Got into a double play as last at bat. Looking to do some damage here. Still looking for home run number one. He takes ball one. Yeah, and anything away from this catcher, Grover's probably on his way home. So uh, it's important to block and keep the ball in front of you. He might steal it straight. Never know with him. And it's a balk. Don't you need to steal it. Pitcher just drops the ball coming set. That's brutal. And a free run for the Seahawks. Tough from Yesu. O'Rourke still on third, so an RBI to be had if possible. And a ball comes outside for ball two. It's like a cutter slider or something, but good pitch. Just misses. This breaking ball in there for a strike. Seahawks up 5-3, still threatening. 2-1 to Canoe. Breaking ball misses, and Yesu perhaps a little afraid to pitch to Canoe. Yeah, and it's all right. They got a few guys warming up in the bullpen, it looks like. Yesu at about 71 pitches. So strike two. A little bit over 70, so I'm sure this is probably his last inning. As the full count to Canoe comes in at the knees. So it'll be a ball four to put runners at first and third. Now batting number 25, Shane Williams. Yeah, and that'll be it for Yesu. As the second visit here of the inning. And we'll step aside for the new Bears pitcher to come.
Welcome back to Adonacio Family Field here on the campus of Brown University. Runners on the corners for Shane Williams and ball one outside from new pitcher Shane Handrahan. Hails from Raynham, Massachusetts. Shout out Raynham. 1-0. Pitch well outside again, Canoe, despite the wheels, retreats to first. Yeah, could have skipped away a little bit more. He probably would have tried for a second, but good idea not to end the inning like that. It's fair. Good of Canoe to keep things fair. Just stay put at first. 2 0. Andrew Hand overthrows again, and it's 3 0. Open base at second with Will McCarthy. Impatiently waiting on deck. Yeah, so Lots we. Uh, the action. The lefty comes in to face the lefty and starts him off three and zero. And then delivers strike one. So a lot of stuff missing glove side. Even that last uh, the first strike was fastball glove side. So we can be yanking a little. We got to stay closed just a bit longer. And misses that one up and away. Pretty. Pretty non-competitive pitches there. A few runners on and two outs. Loads things up for Will McCarthy. McCarthy swinging a hot bat right now. Two singles to start off the uh, game, and this is going to be his third at bat. And a big spot here as Handraham will go from the lineup. McCarthy first pitch watches the breaking ball for strike one. Yeah, not a bad take there after. Pitcher showing he's a little, little bit wild. A one, this one skied on the infield, navigating the Could sun. Could be though. trouble with the sun. Lindsay settles and makes the play, and the Seahawks leave them loaded. They grab a pair though, and through four they lead five to three. <laughs> here to begin things in the fifth. Mulligan back out there. Money mugs. First pitch in tight for ball one to Ryan Flaherty. Yeah, and pitch count getting up for Mulligan. So only the fifth inning, already uh, 85 pitches in. I'm sure we'll break them all a bit high, but it's in there for a strike. Yeah, hopefully he can go uh, one, two, three, and I can imagine this being uh, being it for him. One, one. Flaherty skies this one into right field. Petrosino calls off Grover and makes the play for route number one. We'll 
see a few guys tossing lately and a couple guys stretching in the Salve bullpen. First pitch to Simon, line drive up the middle. Grover will let it drop. First pitch hit for Simon. Yeah, good, uh, good job jumping on the fastball there and sending a line drive right to center field. Two for three now, Simon. Brings up Jay Wodkowski. 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. Mulligan looking to spin a double play. First pitch bunting Wodkowski as that one goes foul. Looking for any way to get on. Not a bad idea there with uh, McCarthy playing a little deep, but McCarthy also has a pretty good arm. Yeah, left side of the infield shaded a little bit towards pull side. A one outside corner, but just missing. That one skips in. Good stop there from Donovan. Two balls, one strike. Cutting a miss. Sword there. Let's see, he's swinging a 10 pound bat. And Wodkowski. Makes it even. Two balls, two strikes. Looks like Jason Arrigo is starting to get hot in there. 2-2. Two -two. Same spot, but this time Wojkowski holds up. That'll make it a full count. Let's see if Simon's in motion here. Mulligan comes to the set. Simon stays put as this one chopped to the right side. Canoe tags for one out, and Simon in there at second. So smart play there by Canoe. Soft uh, soft chopper at him. Didn't have much of a chance at second base. Brings it. Still secures an out. Seahawks just need those outs here and they're two down. Runner on second for Joe Frechette. Who is one for one with a walk. Also scored back in the second. First pitch to him, breaking ball. Good pitch. Misses. Not sure how much better it can be from Mulligan. Yeah, it's right where you want it. Ball and no strikes. That one outside. So count two and oh. Missing again, Mulligan. Falls behind 3 0. You think he walks him? This is his last batter? I think we got one more. 3 0, 2 for Shet. Looking to make it his second walk of the day. Take strike one down the middle. Yeah, late in the order, too. You got to rather give Arrigo a fresh inning. You know, and this is this is the guy for Salve. You gotta gotta trust him out there. Three one. This one fouled back. Mulligan battles back to a three two. And just reaching the hundred pitch mark. Be nice to end things on with a strikeout. Fifty five percent strikes today. Three two. On the outside corner, strike three. Mulligan. Claims another strikeout, likely the end of his day, and a good one at that. Through four and a half, Seahawks lead 5 3.
Bottom of the fifth here, Tyler Petrosino will lead things off. Take strike one, a slider curveball, one of those middle away. It'll be O two. Takes a fastball away. That's flared out to left field into the bullpen and foul. So Arrigo might have a game ball to warm up with now. Another ball misses low and away. Two balls, two strikes. Yeah, so Petro fighting back a little bit. Crawling back into this count. Takes ball four. And a leadoff walk for the Seahawks. Shea Donovan, the hot bat, still has not found a hit today. The pair of line drives to the outfield, both getting caught. You know, usually in the game so far, I feel like by, you know, third time through the lineup, we're seeing a catcher get pinch hit for. But Shea Donovan, after two impressive at bats, remains in. First pitch swinging, fouled out of play. Takes one outside. Donovan skies that out to right field, and that's going to be foul. Kept tailing. So a 1-2 count for the catcher from Milton, Massachusetts. Good at bat here for Donovan. Yeah, swung and fouled off every strike he's seen. So he's on it. Just looking to straighten it out a little bit. Petrosino stays put. This one grounded softly towards Lindsay. The throw off balance, and he, he is safe. Out. A good call by the base umpire there. Yeah, great job by Donovan running all the way. No, and he hit it just soft enough in the, into the hole where he had a chance at it. And after a uh, couple line drives getting caught, uh, infield single. Mike Breen comes up the nine hole after a uh, good day so far, a run scored and a single. So he will be up with first and second, no outs. The top of the order on deck. And this is a spot right here where I could see a, a bunt or even like a slash, probably a slash option. And he does show bun. Shows inside move. Just in case, but no one was covering second. He has one reset at the inning, or at bat. So Breen probably with a slash option. Bunt again. 
the wheel. Oh, and he was slashing. Good call there, Nick. Yeah, shortstop wheeling to third. Third baseman most likely crashing on a bunt there. Shortstop covering third. Second base covering second. Again, another slash. And just down out of the outstretched shortstop. That's a base hit single to left field for Mike Breen. And Petrosino scores. Make it a 6-3 ball game. Perhaps a bit fortunate with the dying, looping liner there. Past the dive of Lindsay, but the Seahawks will take the run out of it. Yeah, just tailed away from the shortstop enough. And not going to lie, I think we see the exact same thing here. I think we see another slash option. Maybe not. A one. Good curveball. It's blown away. Probably just going to swing away now. Grover takes a uh, fastball low there, so 1-1 one, one count. Shortstop giving signs to the pitcher. Potential uh, daylight play. Grover chases a curveball in the dirt. Make it 1-2. Looking for his first hit of the day, Brandon Grover. So that one outside there from Handrahan. Yeah, the pitcher really given every last ounce of velo he had into that one. 2-2 two -two count. Make that 3-2. And uh, good time to run here. That one skips in. It's going to get away. It won't matter. Ball four. And the bases are loaded. For Evan O'Rourke. Two hole hitter for Salve, who already has a single on the day, a stolen base, and a walk. Big spot for him here. So the lefty righty matchup should play in O'Rourke's favor, but mound visit from the catcher sh might see. Uh, might see a new pitcher coming in. Might be given a time to warm up right now. Can't see if anyone's getting loose from the angle, but. O'Rourke here with the bases juiced. Be Donovan on third, Breen on second, Brandon Grover who just walked on first. And a big loop and curve ball. Not the pitch you want to swing at. Uh, bases loaded, no outs. That one is, and he singles it into right field. He's going to score one and keep the bases loaded. On a line drive base hit. So we'll see Christian Homa again with the bases loaded. No outs this time. Now where to put him. Strike one. Seahawks looking to blow this thing open. They lead by four now. It'll be big to get some extra bases. Working quickly, Handrahan. A little bit quick pitch in there, but takes ball. Evens things up at one and one. And giving everything to home away. So the lefties know what they're looking for. They're looking for something away from this pitcher. Whether it's a fastball or a curveball. Right now we'll have a 2-1 count. Breaking ball skips in. Take it. Three balls, one strike. So, got to give him a strike or uh, it'll be an automatic run for the Seahawks. And that's ball four. 
So they walk in a run. RBI for Christian Homa, his fourth. Mike Breen comes across to score, and Tyler Canoe gets the at-bat. Bases loaded, no outs. Looking to add on a couple RBIs here. It's a lefty-righty matchup. And another ball. So this pitcher, obviously a little rattled out there. And now definitely movement in the Bridgewater bullpen as righty's getting going. Fastball away, taken for a strike. Good take there. And like you mentioned, Bobby, a lot of a lot of quick pitching. Pitcher trying to disrupt their time and And another ball taken. Might have been a makeup call for that first strike. That one looked uh, a little bit closer, honestly. Canoe skies one over the first base dugout. We'll see a 3 2 pitch. Base is juiced, nobody out. And that's another walk to Tyler Canoe. Back to back walks in the last two at bats. So Grover scores. Canoe gets an RBI. The bases remain loaded with no outs. Rough, uh, rough start to this inning. And we'll see uh, a mound meeting. And we'll step aside as that happens. Seahawks, some work to do here. Bases loaded and still going. And the pitcher stays in and delivers a first pitch strike to Shane Williams. So no substitutions yet in this uh, fifth inning. Second pitch skips in. Salve, a lot of, lot of substitutions in the past games I've watched, but looking like Coach Sorrell is sticking with the uh, his original lineup for the meantime. That'll be 2-1 to Shane Williams. Williams with uh, two walks today and a single. Big swing and a miss. Big cut. Williams uh, swing for the fences on that one. One for one, two walks. 2-2 pitch to Williams. Breaking ball. Foul tip and in and out of the mitt. So it'll stay foul. Yeah, big help right there for Shane Williams getting another life. A lot of breaking balls to him. Another one. Also fouled back. Out of play. Two, two. This is upstairs. Big loopy curveball, and that fills up the count again. So we'll see pitch number eight. 
will count. This one skied, drifting out of play. This one will get out. Full count again. Andrew Hand kicks, delivers. This one skied Fast again. Ball. This one going to be on the infield, so the infield fly rule in effect. He is out anyway. And a big out there to get out number one. Yeah, and a good move we saw. Not sure if Williams saw it, but Homa, the second base runner, relaying the signs, almost looked like he might have been. But new pitcher. And we'll be right back. Will McCarthy set to face C.J. Hess, the Providence native. A bit of a homecoming for him. Home game. And McCarthy. Fouls this one right away to the screen. Yeah, good swing. That's the pitch he's looking for. That, uh, that early fastball, low, low away. And a big leg kick by the new pitcher. 0-1 to McCarthy. This one low and away. Good take from Pembroke's finest. Evens things up at 1-1. One and one. Takes a ball low. 2-1. In the dirt there. 3-1 and the veteran McCarthy 
trying not to help him out here. And doesn't. Ball gets away. Won't matter. So. Now batting number 15, Tyler Petrofino. That'll be four walks in a row for the Seahawks. Bases loaded. Kiss Jane Williams pop up. First pitch, Petrosino fouls away. That'll be the fifth run of the inning right there. And Petro, the leadoff man, started it off with a walk. Believe it or not. Brutal strike two call on a pitch that looked a couple balls out. How's that one away? Yeah, just fighting off two strike pitch right there. Chops that one, good spoil. Two and two. Petrosino ground ball up the middle. Tried to behind the back glove flip and Petrosino is just gonna beat it out. Yeah, and good job getting to the ball, but kind of muffed it trying to toss it to second and then took too long to get to first. So it'll be an infield hit. Petro and Shea Donovan will head back to the plate after singling his First stab at this inning. Uh, good first hack. Real aggressive. Start to see some substitutes maybe mix in here for Salve. Yeah, and a long first inning, or a long inning for Arrigo waiting to go in. Kind of brutal when you're uh, pitching and you're scheduled to go in. Now we got a piece of him. Drills Donovan. It's another, another run just, I guess, walked in. <laughs> so an RBI for Donovan. Mike Breen, who singled earlier this inning. As uh, Bridgewater State pitchers having a rough go of it so far this inning. Breen, ground ball. And ball thrown away into left field. No one covering third. Pitcher nowhere to be seen. And an error there, scores two, and Breen advances to second, Donovan to third. That's a good thing about baseball. You put the ball in play, and there's always a chance. So Grover now with his second at bat of the inning as well. He already walked, was walked in, and scored. Grover puts a drive into a ball, right center. That's going to score one. And it's going to be the second out of the inning. Donovan will score and Breen advances to third. Number three, Kevin O'Rourke. 
ball one. This is low fastball there. It's 2 0. Oh. O'Rourke, two for three, couple of singles, couple of runs scored, swiped the bag, and walked. There's a ball. And that's a four pitch walk. O'Rourke is second of the day. So he walked the righty on righty matchup to get to the lefty, Christian Homa, who's already done some damage today. Number 13, Christian Homa. So Christian Homa comes up for his second round of the inning as well. Walk in the early of this inning. Homa already has two runs. And guys, that one out of play. It's going to be in the bullpen area, most likely. It does. Everyone's okay. So for those watching the other day, the last Salva game, this one uh, pretty long as well. A lot of big innings for the Seahawks. Seahawks lead 15-3 to three right now. Yeah, so far a 10 spot this inning. Salve has scored every inning. First crooked number. Not enough light bulbs to display that. It's a zero on the scoreboard. Is that a swing and a miss and a big one from Homa? A one two. Runners on the corners. And they're going to ring him up on that on a fastball away. Homa doesn't like it. But got to swing at that a little too close for uh, for comfort with two strikes. Seahawks put up ten on uh, a lot of walks. After five, they lead fifteen to three. So the first substitute of the game, uh, Carbone for Olsen, I'm taking over in the booth here. Arrigo on the mound, taking over for Mulligan, and that first pitch is lined the other way. Single, drop in in front of Williams. That'll bring up the catcher, Pigeon. His uh, fourth at-bat of the day. Had that big triple that kind of going unrecognized now with the score. Yeah, that was uh, 
bright spot that second inning. Uh, Bridgewater took a three to one lead for about half an inning. Yeah, first pitch strike from Arrigo. Arrigo, junior right-handed pitcher out of New Jersey. That yep. one's hit up the middle. Tur tries to turn two. Homer will just take it off the bag. And good job backing it up by Christian Homo. Yeah, tough play for a pitcher. Everyone, it, it always speeds you up when you get a ball hit back to you. Oh, don't have time to focus on the throw. Yeah, you know, you can go multiple games without ever getting the ball at you, and then you got a double play opportunity all of a sudden. Arrigo uh, is usually pretty good at those as a former shortstop, but it happens. Fun fact about Jason Arrigo, he is the only Salvadorian pitcher with a home run on their resume. The home run his uh, freshman year. Former shortstop. 1-0 pitch on the way. Fouled off to the right side. So I'm sure we'll see a bit of what we saw last Wednesday against Mitchell, where uh, after the starter came out, a lot of pitchers are going to go an inning, get some guys some work. Uh, you know, a 12-run game right now. DiRienzo is getting loose in the pen. Yeah, he's a guy who we'll see start and also have a lot of long relief outings. But uh, like last Wednesday, just through an inning, stay uh, stay hot. Good fastball. fastball. Misses low. So creeping up on the two-hour mark here. Only the top of the sixth inning. Good thing we're getting paid by the hour, huh, Rob? I'm not getting paid at all, Nick. feel like community service sometimes up here in the booth. Yeah, you can log them. 3-2 pitch is lo skied That's deep in the gap. That one's back. Grover's got Grover's it. Grover's got it in the center field. Got a man out there for a reason. And that'll give us the first stat of the inning. Uh, put runners on the corners. The runner on second tags up. But, yeah, good charge put into that ball. That'll bring us back to the top of the order, Emerson. Coming up for the fourth time today. He's 0 for 2 with a, or sorry, 0 for 1 with a hit by pitch and a walk. And uh, Salve doing a little first and third instruction. But uh, with this lead, you can pretty much guarantee they're just going to go for an out if Bridgewater's willing to trade them one for a run. Curveball misses in the dirt. 1 and out. And with these first and thirds, Salve has an unorthodox way of uh, preparing for them. They actually had the pitchers play the infield one time during practice. Yeah. Myself included at short. Kind of a wild move, but I guess they just wanted to show the pitchers uh, it's not that easy. Well, I heard the pitchers, pitchers did pretty good. I threw a guy out at home. Highlight of my Salve career. And 1-1 one, one is the count. That one's lined through the left side. Bring a run home for Bridgewater State. Cutting the lead to nine now. Sorry, 11. Now batting, number one, Kevin Lindsay. Yeah, and Kevin Lindsay back up to the plate. He's a strikeout victim of Sean Mulligan. So lots of big numbers on the board here, even for Bridgewater State. The only difference is the errors and walks. Yeah, you know, it's uh, Salve, 15 runs on 11 hits, and Bridgewater, 4 runs on 10 hits. So the hits are pretty even, but the a lot of walks and hit by pitches. Can't be given out free passes. Yeah, that's been the, the big difference.
curve ball. Barrel through the, the right field. Side. And we should see a play at the plate. Uh, but they decide to hold up the runner at third. So now the bases will be loaded for Bridgewater State. Yeah, good with call. only one out. Good call to hold him there at third. Petrosino, the cannon arm, probably would have had him hosed at home. So that'll bring up Flaherty. He's 0 for 3 on the day with two strikeouts, looking to change his fortune here in the top of the six. He's got the bases juiced and a chance to put Bridgewater State in a more favorable position. Yeah. Ball and bounces in the dirt. Runner's coming home. He'll be in there easily. Yeah, that scores one. Kind of a well, tough pitch to handle for Donovan. Skips away. So it's seeming like mirror innings for Bridgewater State and Salva here. Lots of traffic being put on the bases. 1-0 pitch from Arrigo. Curveball again misses low. 2-0. Skied off to the right. It'll be 2-1. Pitchers getting their work in, running for some foul balls today. motion in that uh, Bridgewater bullpen, I'm sure next inning will bring a new pitcher out. And the ball shallow in center field. Grover gets it and no movement from the runners. Don't want to test the arm of Brandon Grover. It's a good choice. Grover and Petrosino in center and right. Two of the better arms you'll see in Division Three baseball. So, uh, you know, pitchers love having that uh, that threat looming over the base runners. A lot of a lot of runners won't even try and take an extra bag. So that'll bring up Simon, the four hitter here. Two knocks on the day, looking to keep that going. Grounds one to Breen at short. He'll fire over to first and end the inning. So Rigo minimizes after a couple hits and leave two stranded. Seahawks. Up 15 to 5, going into the bottom of the sixth. We'll be right back.
Back here for the bottom of the sixth. Salve still up 10. Canoe up to bat. And Tyler Canoe going to lead off the inning with a base runner. Canoe's 0 for 2 on the day, but two walks. Looking to get that knock. That one check swung and fouled back. Bring the count even. One one pitch. Misses high. Nick Riser. Good a uh, firm fastball. Yes, Nick Riser, new pitcher. Junior right handed pitcher out of Nahant Mass. Yes, a shout out. Aiden and Ryan Gracial. Ex Salve alumni. Salve baseball from Nahant. 3-1 pitch, catches the corner, brings the count full. And Canoe smokes that to left center, uh, but taken care of and put out to start out the inning. Leadoff man retired. Number 25, Gabe Williams. That'll bring up Shane Williams. He is one for two on the day with a single and two walks. So lots of base on balls in the box score today. Oh, fastball starts him off 0-1. Oh Pitch bounces away. One and one now. Looks like a slider. What do you think, Rob? I think a slider, yep. Best pitch in baseball. What, a uh, knuckleball? Did I say knuckleball? Slider. Gives him a fastball there, and not sure if that was on the swing or the pitch. It's a bit outside, but one and two count. You might say Cutter's the best pitch. I most definitely would. Probably threw that 70% of my pitches. Threw one too many that one game. We're not talking about that. 2-2 two -two count here to Williams. And in the center... On a line and taken care of by the center fielder again. So back-to-back -back F8s will bring up Will McCarthy here for his fifth time of the day. He's reached three times today, including two singles and a hit-by-pitch. Scored a run. So productive day for Will Mac. Pitch bounces to the plate. 1 0. Catches the inside part of the plate. Thought I was going to kneecap McCarthy right there, but sneaks in for a strike. Same spot. Good pitch. Rise are able to attack a lot of righties inside. One of the few pitchers today have been able to do that. And the slider gets them to weakly chop it to the pitcher. And the third out is taken care of. First one, two, three of the game for Bridgewater State. And we'll be back for the top of the seventh.
All right, so top seven, and we'll see a new pitcher in for the Seahawks. Who is it, Rob? Joe DiRienzo, sophomore right-handed pitcher. Don't know where he's from off the top of my head. Fairfield County, Connecticut. Don't know where exactly. Actually, I do. Trumbull, Connecticut. Him and Dustin Siketa share a hometown. One Newport legend to another. Joey DiRienzo leads the team in appearances. This is number seven on the year. And first batter lines one directly at Michael Breen. So first out's taken care of. I love a quick first out. So now I'll bring up Frechette. He is 0 for 1 on the day with a walk and a single. And a good pitch by Dirienzo. A sinking fastball just tails back enough to catch the outside part of the plate. And Dirienzo slipping a little bit. Obviously, Salve not used to that turf mound. Used to playing on dirt or mud. Depending on how the weather is in Newport. Gets a swing and a miss. And that curveball. It's uh, out number two. Yeah, as a coach, this is what you just love to see. Long game like this. Pitcher comes in, throws strikes, and gets some quick outs. Oh, yeah. Get us home early. Or on time, I should say now. Yeah, and obviously, for us, Brown University, no lights. And uh, Shadow's starting to cast, so... Gonna wanna make these last three innings uh quick if possible. Strike two, oh two. O two pitch here from Di Rienzo coming right up. Let's see if we can get our first one, two, three back to back. And we and he do. Does. Beautiful curveball. Backdoors him. Durianzo's hyped up. And we'll be back for the bottom of the seventh. 15 to 5, our score. And we're back, bottom seven. Tyler Petrosino leading it off for the Seahawks. And Petro, little brother, freshman at Bridgewater State. We have Logan Petrosino. So uh, I guess this is a battle to see who's, who's getting more Christmas presents. Smoked that ball. And 
Minus one for Petra. Yeah. On the presence. That Logan gained another. Matt D'Amato, the grad student, typical left fielder, got the day off today for Shane Williams, get some get some work in, and D'Amato entering the game. Who's he coming in for? Coming in for Shea Donovan, so that'll end the day for him. I'm sure he's a little sore playing catcher for this long. So we'll have a defensive replacement eventually. Takes ball one. That's strike one. Fastball gets in there. Wow, chase is low. Looks like a change up or a splitter right there. One two pitch on the way from Riser. Spikes that one about fifty eight feet. Yeah, Namato hitting four twelve on the season. Four seventy five on base percentage. Decent numbers. Oh yeah. Six walks, two hit by pitches, seven K's. 2-2 pitch, RBIs. runs it full. Second on the team for most hits, only after Christian Homa. <coughs> 3-2 pitch on the way here. Tomato walks to lead it off. So trending in the right direction here as we've only had our first walk of the inning. Not bad stuff. I'll bring up Mike Breen, the shortstop. His fifth at bat today. He swings at the first pitch and launches it towards the third base dugout. Over Breen's there. Uh, reached base twice today. Actually three times on two singles and... An error by the second baseman. Looking for his third today. Pitch misses high. One and one. And that one foul, but in play. Third baseman camped under it and makes the play, so... Green is retired. Second out of the inning for the Bears. And then Grover comes up to hit. Actually, that'll be a pinch hitter. Hunter Jaworski, the grad student, be taking that bat here for Grover. Pinch hitter, number 17, Hunter Jaworski. <laughs> so one graduate student looking to drive in the other one in that tomato. Jaworski hitting 353 this year, 476 on base percentage. So one of the one of the better Seahawks at the plate. Pitch misses high, one and zero. Jaworski been seeing some time in right field. <laughs> and Jaworski, I can imagine, will continue to get DH starts and a lot of a lot of pinch hits throughout the year. Uh, really a good option for for a righty lefty matchup late in games and especially in close games. Trust in that. D'Amato going for the stolen base. Outfield. He's gonna take third. So D'Amato reaches third on the Mistro second base. Yeah, good, good throw there. Just Was it a good throw? Just not hands quite right. We wouldn't have got him at second, but 
Yeah, might have got him in on the, base. the outfield. Jaworski fouls one off, two and two. So two's all around here. Bottom of the seventh. Jaworski looking to add another run. That pitch is cut on and missed. So they'll retire the side, scoreless. Still 15 to 5 here. Coming back at you at the top of the eighth. So some defensive uh, changes here today. We got D'Amato into left, shifting Shane Williams over to right. Petro moves over to center. And behind the plate will be Gianfranco Messina taking over for Shea Donovan. Yeah, so Brandon Grover out of the game for, uh, for Messina. A couple, uh, couple switches. And another strike. Good, uh, good sinker out of Durianzo. Another one just a bit outside. Another Messina into the game here as Gr Philip Messina grounds out to short. Will McCarthy, third baseman, Three. takes care of that play. I'll bring up Cam James. Flies one to center field. Petrosino there for the opportunity and makes the play for the second out. So I think we'll see uh, a Logan Petrosino appearance in this game. So back to the top of the lineup here, Emerson. His fifth at bat of the day. Reached three times on a hit by pitch walk and a single. Strike one. Outer half uh, plate. Just kind of filling it up right now with a 10 run lead late in the game. That's all you got to do. Got another arm throwing in the salve pen. Andrew Wirtz hasn't been able to be used a lot lately, but because of the situations, but. Looking to get some work in here today with a big lead. Good front door curveball. Ends the inning. Good strikeout right there out of Durienzo. Freezes the hitter and sends us to the bottom of the eighth.
welcome to the bottom of the eighth. We have a new pitcher in for Bridgewater State. It's going to be Cameron Baralt. Set up to face Evan O'Rourke. Junior right-handed pitcher out of the Bay, Buzzards Bay, that is. Massachusetts. New battery, too. We got Philip Messina behind the plate this inning. So, Messina's all around. This is Baralt's second appearance of the year. One and one to O'Rourke here. Slide into shallow center field. Makes the play. Christian Homa. Do up to face Baralt with one down. O'Rourke just caught that one off the end of the bat, it looked like. Good Homa. timing. Good day today. Two for four with a home run, a single, and a walk. Six that bad today. So lots of opportunities. See some pitches. As he swings and misses over that pitch. 0 and 1. Shadows starting to creep in here at Brown. Making it tough to see for hitters. Make it one one. Let's see inside. Good arm action out of Brault. Whippy. Yeah. Two one pitch. As Homa uh, skies that to uh, left field. Texas leaguer. Camped under it. For the second out. And that'll bring up Tyler Canoe. Uh, batting number 19, Tyler Canoe. So Canoe looking for his first hit today. He's reached twice on pair of walks. Popped up to right field. Second baseman moving under it. Little trouble. And, and he'll drop it. Wow. And they're calling it foul. So. Might have touched on fair territory. We don't know. The umpire is calling it foul. So Canoe will uh, get back to the plate for another chance. Interesting call there. He had Pretty positive he touched it in fair territory. But, uh, you know, umpires are people too. They make mistakes. Bermuda Triangle out there in right yeah. field. It's rough out there, especially with the shadows, like you mentioned. You know, you're in the sun, you're in the sun, and as soon as you're about to catch the ball, it's shade. 2-2 Two -two count. And that ends the inning. Strike three. We'll be back for top nine and what could be the last half inning of the game.
here in the top of the ninth, we have a new pitcher for Salve, Andrew Wirtz, junior transfer. From Stonehill College. Yeah, and Andrew Wirtz, it's going to be his, I believe, his third or his fourth appearance. Still no, no runs given up. And we have a few defensive replacements. Nate Reese in at short. Kyle Platt, second base. And that's all. But we'll pair up the middle. Pull one pitch. Ball. Uh, not sure where that missed, but I'm going to call that ball one. Wirtz, a flamethrower on the mound. Can get up to 95. So down 10 runs. Not what you want to see. As he misses away, two and one. And Lindsay at the plate, a two for four day, so solid day at the dish. Scoreboard not really reflecting what you what you want, but I want to control so much. And three one count where it's falling behind. One from Wirtz, fouled back. Brings it full. Wirtz looking for the payaway pitch. Trying to go one, two, three here in this ninth inning. And he gets him. Blows the heater by him. Now it'll be one down, two to go. So a pinch hitter here, Josh Sealander, first baseman, sophomore from Granby, Connecticut. He'll have to face Wirtz here. And the first pitch Sealander sees, he fouls off the left side just a bit late. Oh, one pitch. Sky to left field. D'Amato under it. And makes the catch. So two gone now. As Wurtz looks uh, to put a close to this long one. Now batting number seven, DJ Rampin. So we'll have another pinch hitter here for what could be the last at bat of the game. DJ Prampin. Junior out of Worcester. The Woo. Words. Starts on the fastball that's called a ball. This one popped up. Petrosino under it. Can of corn and puts it away. And that'll be a Seahawks W. Put it in the wing column. 15 to 5, the final here from Brown. As the Seahawks continue their dominance. Yeah, make that 12 wins in a row for the Seahawks. As they take care of Bridgewater State at home, even though it's at Brown. Continue that win streak that dates back through last year. And 15 to 5, yeah, final. A lot of, a lot of walks, a lot of hit by pitch. That was the biggest difference in that, uh, that fifth inning, that 10 run inning. Um, as the hits are pretty similar. But good job by the pitchers. Joey DiRienzo, big highlight of the day. And uh, Christian Homa taking care of business. Mike Breen, Tyler Petrosino. A lot of fellas really balled out. But uh, we'll see ya. Tuesday as Sal Vergina takes on Springfield in the first conference game of the year. I'm Nick Santo alongside Robert Carbone. Bobby Olson, thank you, and Ed Habishaw. Always a pleasure.